everyone. I'm Raisa Pascal. And I'm Andrea Jackson. And welcome to Life Love Shopping. We are talking about decluttering. So, Raisa, on a scale of 1 to 10, how organized is your house? Okay, I have a question back for you. Yes. Does my garage count as my house? Yes. Because my garage is not organized at all. It's really <laughs> bad, actually. The rest of my house, I don't think I'm too bad. I think it's okay. Okay, so six, seven? Maybe six. six okay. Or, yeah, If we good. take the garage out of yeah, it, Yeah, a solid seven. Oh, a solid How seven. How about you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a bragger here, but I'm going to say 11. Wow. I'm a super crazy organized person. You're one of those. I am one of those. <laughs> yes, guilty as charged. Well, coming up, we've got a professional organizer in our house to help you get started in your house. But first, we wanted to do a quick check-in with our resident psychologist. Oh, that's right. Well, our big question is, can clutter really kill our vibe? Let's find out. When we have everything in its place, we don't have to waste any of our mental energy wondering where things are, which is why when we're in a clean environment, it's actually so much easier to feel lighthearted, creative, productive, whatever it is that we want to feel because we don't have all of that clutter mentally dragging us down. That's why so many people, when they say go check into a hotel or something just to get some work done or have a fresh perspective, because being in that clean, organized environment is so good for your body and your mind. A couple of my best tips for keeping a clean and organized environment is first of all, to make sure everything does indeed have a place. And then once you find the place for everything, if you really want to, you can even actually use a little label maker so that you know exactly where everything should go. I do this in my son's room. It's actually really super helpful for kids as well when you're trying to teach your kids how to organize. Another thing that can be so helpful is to just take five minutes to just set a timer and for five minutes, just speed clean and put things away as much as you possibly can. And that boosts that feeling of self-efficacy. Once you start seeing how much you can get done in five minutes, a lot of times you'll just end up keeping on going because it's so easy to be effective once you get the ball rolling. And if you really need extra help, you can do what I do and have a personal organizer come to your home once a month. I find it's actually a great investment. It makes me a lot more productive. So those are my three best tips for staying clutter-free.